The next slide is about rage, narcissistic rage. A narcissistic rage is the uncontrollable and unexpected anger. Rage comes in many forms, but all uh, pertain to the same thing, revenge. Because narcissistic person thinks that the world and other people is attacking him, he wants to revenge. Uh, narcissistic rage are based on the fear that he is under attack. And this is the fear of death. And narcissistic rage is so sudden, so quick, and so big that uh, he uh, it will endure even after the threat is gone. Uh, the root uh, of narcissistic rage is uh, hidden in, of course, in the childhood when uh, an infant needed. Uh, something and his needs were not satisfied. He did not get enough food, did not get enough sleep. Uh, then um, for the infant, it's like death. So I don't have enough food, I'm gonna die. I don't, uh, I did not sleep enough, I'm gonna die. Any infant um, have does not understand that the world is a separate part. He uh, sees it as a part of him. So for him as like uh, one part of me is attacking another part of me. And the fear of death is so big and is so deep that it leads to uncontrollable rage. And an infant has no sense of boundaries. Everything external is a continuation of me. My mother is a continuation of me. When a mother cannot satisfy fetus or infant's desires, for him it's like, again, one part of him is attacking another part of him. And this rage can be provoked by small things. Uh, a person uh, begins to yell or break things or physically he might beat another person or abuse an animal. And for example, children might be violent at school, they might bite other kids, they might leave bruises, and um, uh, during another time they might be sweet, polite, and good manner, and have a good manners. And it's very hard to believe how this child could be so violent. And um, often uh, a person might control himself in public, but at home he becomes a monster. And I would like to recommend you to watch um, the first uh, season of Big Little Lies. Uh, this is a seven ep uh, episodes uh, series. And pay attention to Nicole Kidman husband. He, his rage is always sudden, always based on small things that normal person might not even notice. And um, you can also see how this algorithm, how this pattern reflects the whole family. Uh, another example, uh, when a person controls him almost in every situation, but when he drinks alcohol, he becomes violent. Uh, he might have a desire to rape or abuse another person. Um, he starts fight without the reason and the the, uh, the scary part is that he cannot be stopped, nobody can stop him and he cannot stop himself until he releases his rage. Again, uh, the movie Big Little Lies, uh, there are only seven episodes, but you can see this algorithm. And if this is somehow related to you, if you are in an abusive relationship, or maybe you know someone who is in an abusive relationship, this movie is going to be a deal breaker. You, you, after watching this movie, you might uh, understand that uh, your relationship is not just, um, is not just, you, you you might realize that it's not just a problem, not just a regular problem, but this is a serious problem and you have to do something about it. Uh, another example of a narcissistic rage is angry driver. Um, I'm talking about drivers who can scream, who can create a fight, who can race another person if somebody 
uh, cut him off. And this is also a fear of death. So beneath it's the fear of death. The fear is uh, so sudden, so deep and unnoticeable. So the driver becomes angry with milliseconds. And he can uh, jump out of his car, he can break window, he can hit another person, another driver, and he can become violent like in, in milliseconds. And the deepest child's fear is the fear of death. And this is the fear of being swallowed, being crushed, being strung, strangled, and being rejected by the mother. Those fears formed during the fetal period inside the mother womb. The fetus is afraid that mother is going to swallow him, crush him, reject him. And especially this fear uh, is um, formed during the birth process because he actually, mother has to push him in order for child to be born. And during the birth process, uh, every one of us experienced that fear, unless you were like C-section, right? And um, in psychology, you know, there is a big argument about the C-section. Some people believe that uh, this is uh, very good, specifically from the medical point of view. And a lot of psychologists believe uh, that this will create a deep trauma later in adult's life. Uh, anyway, today we're gonna we're not gonna talk about that part. I just want to tell you that during the birth we all experienced a fear of death, and uh, from one side uh, this is the fear of death, and from another side this is the desire to survive, to live, and. It is not possible for uh, a child, for an infant, for a baby to escape death. Since uh, everything external is continuation of me, this is how the baby thinks, I cannot escape from myself. The death is also part of me. And um, an infant wants to dissolve, want to feel nothing, and as a result, an infant might block his feelings and emotions. So if the child experienced a deep um, birth trauma, then he will become a narcissistic person who is going to block his feelings, his emotions, and he is not going to be able to feel sympathy. He will not be able to um, give love uh, and receive love because he is not capable of it. He blocked his feelings. He blocked his emotions during his birth and the first few months of his life. And narcissistic people are people who know about feelings and emotions in theory, but they cannot feel it in reality. Uh, for example, if you never tried lemon, you might know that it's sour, but you cannot imagine the taste until you eat it before. So uh, you might know that it's sour and the people make like a weird faces when they eat lemon and you can kind of even um, show this emotion on your face but you you cannot uh, sympathize you cannot truly understand what it means to eat lemon this is the same with a narcissistic person